as these. They look like the stone faces at the gates between the garden terraces. Maybe it's a door of some sort. We called them gatekeepers. They were supposed to make us ponder if we were worthy to pass. You're not getting through without power, and this place is dead. Look at that. It's a voice. It looks like a tuning fork. Yes, obviously. The resourcefuls call them voices. Strike them and let the true tone interfere to find clarity and enlightenment. Ah, of course. What does that mean? The suit detects a pattern to the sound, and the decryption is kicking in. door is different. Ugh. I bet that's an activation mechanism for the door. is dead. Some things just cannot be undone. Think about it. If you could capture the souls of the dead in a cube, and then bring the person back to life, surely it would be a huge industry. It's not like that. I know for a fact that he's in there. I have wondered how you came to believe that. But I doubt that I'll agree with your reasoning. Your resourcefuls are too far removed from reality to make sense. You've seen nothing but the bought and paid for fairy tale designed by your grandfather. Well, the reality of my fairy tale upbringing was that it was all about this place. No, even before that, my genes. Graham spent centuries creating his resourcefuls, carefully picking potential from the gene pool. We were created to come here, and this feels very real to me. These, I know. We had rings exactly like them in the gardens. The suit detects a small gravity charge inside the scepter. Perhaps it can power the big door. The pedestal looks like the activation mechanism. Just out of curiosity, what's the higher meaning of keeping scepters displayed inside huge rings made of gold? 
It does seem a bit much, even if you are filthy rich. The rings were not for show. They are part of our training. Oh, and you do what exactly? Step inside and feel wealthy? Mm, not quite. The rings spin up and the challenge is to get out in one piece. At first, staying in there is the only sane thing to do. But as the hunger comes, the rhythm of the spinning starts to sink in. At some point, you realize that starving eats away at your chance of making it out. Then the leap. No, wait too long. Right. You almost had me going there for a while. By the way, I don't know if you noticed that there were no other exits from this pit than the big door. How I hope the scepter will magically make it open. It will work. Must be nice always feeling that the world will act in your favor. It doesn't, though. My guess is that you will learn this momentarily. Now... Let's see. Nothing. What a shock. Looks like you might be joining Foster after all, just not the way you imagined. I don't get it. What Gramps did to hundreds of resourcefuls for this? I saw it the day I came to you. The subject lies down on a marble surface with a strange silver pattern and the silver unfolds pierces the skin and slithers inside and about half an hour it consumes everything and all that remains is an empty slab of marble and a newly formed cube he called it the translation the flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors we said it a thousand times, never realizing. I didn't catch Foster's soul in a magical cube. He was dying, and I translated him. You killed him? The fact that your grandfather did unspeakable things doesn't prove he was right? That Foster can come back? That's insane! It was the only chance we had, and believe me, I'm good at chances. I gamble for a living, remember? So I stayed alive all these years after leaving the gardens. Well, this time it didn't pan out. Look at you now. You think I'm giving up?